guys welcome to asher and gad channel making africa home again one family at a time um bringing to you today uh, a really popular request i've had a few comments especially from the guys who live in uh, you know united states canada north america they're asking me how can they can they have 110 volts circuits in their home as well as the 220 volts um now yes i have seen a few homes that have 110 and 220 in them as well not not that many but i've seen a few um now i can understand why i've had this question a lot because obviously if you live in any of these countries that use 110 and you're, you're planning on relocating to to ghana or any other african nation that uses 220 then obviously you don't necessarily want to throw all your stuff away you know you want to you want to bring some of your stuff with you if you're planning to relocate i'm sure you do um i'm sure i'm sure you you obviously change some of your stuff but you're going to bring a lot of stuff with you equipment that operates on 110 volts and and it is it is important that uh, you if you're building your home you build your home and you plan it so that you can have both 110 where necessary and 220 where necessary also in terms of the voltage so this video is all about how can you do it all right is it possible yes it is indeed possible it may get a little bit technical but i try and stay as high level as possible uh, what i have done is i have i have an ebook on this particular topic which I, i'll go through much later on the link is in the description which gives you more detail and able you to engage with your your chosen electrician to get this done for you all right so all right let's get right into it so you know obviously some items will, will, will be 230 volts for example um air conditioning um uh, yeah your, your lighting for example um these type of these type of items will typically be 220 volts sorry uh so so you always need some element of 220 volts in your house however you may want to have some sockets that are 120 volts you know for for certain certain items of equipment you're coming with even some ceiling i've even seen some ceiling fans that are 120 volts so it's good to have a mixture where you're going to have your sockets you can you have a choice at every socket location you can either have two sockets you can have one that's 220 volts and one that's 110 volts and normally the 220 volt sockets are physically larger than the 110 uh, uh, socket so you can easily differentiate them but if you want to if you want to you know make it a bit more obvious more trendy maybe you can put a, a different finish a chrome finish over the, the 110 volt ones or whatever it's up to you but just find a way to differentiate between the 110 and the 220 volt uh, socket outlets or any equipment outlet that you you want to use obviously a shaver socket is always is always 110 anyway so there's no issues with that all right so the question is how does it work how do you actually get 110 from a 230 volt supply in ghana uh, the main power supplies are to homes are 230 volt single phase uh, or, or you can have a 400 volts three phase system coming into your home okay now the way to if you like efficiently give yourself 110 volts in your home as well as 220 volts is to use what is called a a step down center tapped transformer okay i repeat that again a step down center tapped transformer okay there is a a diagram coming on your screen uh, on your screen now don't worry if you're not electrically minded i'm just going to explain it as high level as possible okay that diagram shows you a transformer okay as i said center tapped basically you know on the left hand side you you have the phase which is the line and the neutral that comes in from the ecg pole through through the ecg meter to the transformer and then the output of the transformer from the transformer you get what is line one line two and the center tap from the neutral which is the ground which is grounded the center is tapped so you get three lines from that transform from that transformer which then goes to your distribution board in your house system okay those three lines allow you to have a mixture of of 110 volts and 220 volts respectively okay for those of you who know about electrics the reason why you can have it because the neutral is center tapped to the secondary winding so from you know from line one to neutral from line two to neutral you have 110 volts but between line one and line two you have 220 volts okay so that is a very nice mixture that can be in your home no issues whatsoever okay now remember i said 
this is a single phase coming into the transformer to give you the 110 and 220 volts output into your home so you'd be applying to ecg for a single phase from the pole typically all right uh, you need single phase you can't do it with all three phases however you know if you want your electrical supply to be a bit more resilient you can bring all three phases into your home obviously via the meter and via the the in camera and the, the, there's a way you can arrange it so that you only have uh, one of the three phases supporting your building at any one time or one of the three phases if you like connected to this uh, this step 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 down transformer at any one time okay for more details of that refer to the ebook in the in, in the description that will give you more details of that and and the um, the circuit diagram and how that actually actually works yeah so you need single phase but you can bring in three phases to give you more resilience if you so choose to do so okay now just an, another diagram on your screen just wanted to show you how the how the elements come together so the first box is ecg and that will that your power supply will come from ecg from a pole near your house be it a single phase supply or three phase supply okay that will go through the the ecg smart meter okay all right and then from that smart meter it will go to what, what, what they call in ghana a tpn incomer which is basically it's just your main incoming isolator which has all, all your fuses for all the phases from there you take a single phase okay you take a single phase into this um step down step down uh, center tap transformer from that step down center tra tap transformer you have three lines line one line two and the neutral uh i think in some countries like the states they call it you know hot one hot two and and the neutral so you have three lines from that transformer which go into your distribution board and then you can distribute throughout your home however as you please to exactly where you want the 110 or the 220. now that transformer yeah there are a number of products available i found i was doing a search online and i found uh, quite what looks like quite a good product um it is um it's actually it's actually a combination product it's a step down transformer center tapped as well as being a voltage regulator at the same time if you've been following our channel you know we've talked about uh, the issues with um with um the ghana electricity supply is quite unstable we have an avr up front to protect our fridges and all of that stuff right so if you if you are going to use 110 then this piece of equipment coming up on your screen is is pretty good because it gives you the 110 and the 220 but also it's an automatic voltage regulator at the same time so any fluctuations in the ecg power supply coming in it should smoothen that out nicely for you to protect your equipment whether whether it's a voltage spike as in an over voltage or a um let's say a reduced voltage both situations can damage your equipment so that can this this piece of machinery can uh, can protect your items which is quite important um so there's there's i've put links in the description to the image that came on your screen okay um funny enough i found i found a product i found the product in walmart and a couple of other places i think 220converters.com those two places in fact i found i think i found it in three places i can't remember the third place but the prices ranged from i think i wrote it down from about 700 to about a thousand dollars okay 700 to about a thousand dollars for that step down transformer center tapped okay 700 to a thousand dollars so not cheap but obviously worth it worth it not just from the voltage regulation point of view but very very worth it if you want 110 as well as 220 volts in your home okay so now what's important is you know as as you as you you know have your architectural plans your structural plans and you know your 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 you, be, you began building your home you need to make sure you've got you have a good electrical designer who's going to design all your electrical systems in your home for you mechanical systems as well and other other systems as well so that you know exactly what you want and where you want it you know plan your dream home as you want it okay and work with your electrician your nominated electrician okay to determine exactly where um, you want the 110 volts obviously your designer will put the, will put the 110 volts exactly where you want it but make sure you're on site or somebody else is on site who can check for you that the electrician is doing what you want and not what they want okay highly 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 important if you're following our channel you will know that it's very important to be on site at some point all right um what can i say so 
so guys yes uh, as i was saying um it's all possible uh, just to give you a bit more uh, diagrammatic examples electrically there's an image on your screen it's actually an electrical circuit okay and that shows you that you can get various various um appliances that operate at either 110 volts or 220 volts okay uh, for example you can see the ceiling fan that is on your far right hand side so i'm just checking to make sure my microphone is on and it is yes so you can see the ceiling fan on the far i think it's on the right hand side of your picture that is operating at 120 volts uh, if you're electrically minded you can see that you can see the breaker single pole breaker you've got one of the lines coming in and you've got the green line which is the f and then you're neutral of course yeah you know i talked about having two different sockets 110 separate and 220 separate but if you want a combination socket you can also have a combination socket which is one socket that has both 110 and 220 volts outlets in one plate so that maybe you minimize the number of holes in your walls so that's another you can see that on the chart you've got a combination socket and for for the combination socket you can you can see that the second line is coming in. you've got the neutral coming in you need to have the neutral you've got the the, the the red line coming in you've got the black line coming in which is line one and line two or hot one and hot two then you've got the green line which is which is your earth so that gives you the combination okay you can have both 110 and 220 volts uh in 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 one outlet double outlet for example you can see another example of a you know a water heater which in this case is, is is operating at 240 volts your water heater typically is a 240 so there again you've got double pole breaker it's a double pole breaker in your mains distribution board because there you need hot one and hot two as in line one and line two to come in as well as your your green earth to give you that 240 so it is quite resilient really here where you have you know a single source coming into your house of 240 volts but you're able to to transform it down and to wire your house such that you it gives you both 110 and 220 which is really pretty good pretty really pretty good but just make sure that you have very this is a, this is a, let's say a warning make sure that you employ an experienced and qualified electrician who understands exactly what you want and who ideally ideally has done this before okay uh, and um if you can don't just take their word for it that they've done it before if possible let them prove it to you that they've done it before let them you know take it to one of their installations if possible let them prove to you that they're, 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 they're certified by the ghana energy commission which is you know not 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 everything but at least it's a step in the right direction uh, just just be careful make sure you select the right electrician because a design is only as good as the person installing it good on paper but if the person installing it you know doesn't do it properly then you know we're back to the drawing board abortive cost and abortive time okay so don't forget as well safety 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 matters in electrical engineering and in, in your installation make sure you install your rcbo's okay which is for safety against electric shock and if you don't know what that is then please click up here watch our video where i explain about rcbo's what they are and the importance of having them in your distribution board okay that's very 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 important for you to know now somebody else asked me they, they wanted to get this this step down transformer but they weren't sure about what the rating should be again the rating of the transformer depends on the load of your home all right all depends on the load of your home so you must have a clear understanding of how much load you need for your home again if you haven't watched our video of how much power do you need for your home click up here to watch that video that will tell you what you need to go through to assess how much power you need for your home and that will guide you as to how big this transformer or voltage stabilizer needs to be okay absolutely absolutely will guide you and give you everything that you need but uh, you know i thought it was quite an interesting question from uh, our subscribers in america uh, so uh, i thought i'd take my time and put this together for the for them um, i think it's interesting for even those who are not in america just in case you you want that mixture of voltage in your home now in terms of the ebook it's in the link is in the description okay there are a number of um topics that are going to be covered in there for example obviously i've talked about you need single phase to to operate this but you can bring in three phase and make it a bit more resilient uh, to use one phase at a time into this transformer okay so we're gonna we're going to go through that in a bit more detail we're gonna i'm gonna give you some typical wiring diagrams of, of your main panel of what you need to follow exactly if you like um i'll give you more of the electrical topology from ecg throughout the building uh, and also yes 
now you may want to integrate a standby generator and also an a, either an off-grid or grid tie solar panel system into your building as well okay so again i've gone into the detail of a, a design of how you could have your 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 normal ecg coming in as well as a standby generator and or a solar system that can also connect into your building still giving you this um still giving you this 110 volt and 220 volt supplies into your your building okay so that's all in there as well what else is in there how to how to connect everything up uh key installation tips that you must watch out for uh if you for those who want to make the system automatic as well i've covered that in there of how you would do that becomes a bit more complicated but that's in there for you as well so for those who are interested ebooks ebooks in this in, in the description link in description how to wire your home for both 110 volt and 220 volt circuits respectively right let me just check my notes to uh, make sure i haven't missed anything i don't think i have but let's have a look um it's quite an important topic so i just want to make sure I've, I've covered it all i think i have uh let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see yep i think that's that's pretty much it, it folks that's pretty much it so um well, i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, as usual like share subscribe hit that notification button so you'll be fully aware when i show and guide upload a new video for your educational and viewing pleasure all right sunny me today so i'll say chemistry on behalf of gab and for me guys yebeshia see you next time